Where's the sa Oh, there's the save. Oh, silly me. Boy, I wish I could have made this easier. Hey guys, Kirp here. Peace. Um, today I have a really awesome review of a really awesome program that I just got. The folks at um, Real Mac Software gave me a copy to review for you guys. So let's get to it. Um, basically, it is Rapid Weaver 5, and it's an iWeb alternative. Frankly, I think it's actually a lot better than iWeb and more powerful. So let me go ahead and I'm going to resize this so that you guys can see it. So here we are. This is our main page. So as you can see, on the left-hand side, you got all your web pages. You can drag resources that you can use later in your website. And you got all your analytics and stuff. So here we go, and let me actually, I'm going to make a new project. So, as you can see, I'm going to go into here, and let's say that I want to make a styled text page. It's actually quite simple. So I'm going to name this page Home, and I'm going to go ahead in here, and I'm going to type, like, Welcome to my website. So as you can see here, it is actually a full... Um, a full text editor, which is quite nice. But the cool thing is, you know, you can just you can just drag in photos or whatever, really awesome photos, and then you can go ahead and um, preview them in here, and you can preview your website and all that stuff. So that's the basic page right here. You can add links, you can add HTML into here, and have that in there. So you can make a really nice page over here. Now we got, um, you can add um, HTML, which is basic HTML stuff. You can add a blog, which I use this a ton because, okay, let's see. So let's just name this like bloggy or something. And then you can add new entries and you can keep on, you can make a tag cloud and all these different things. You can say like my first entry. And it's actually pretty awesome. So like blah, 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 blah. Lorem Ipsum. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that is the basics of editing in this. And then you got your different things, and it automatically generates that, and it has its whole like cloud of t categories and stuff. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the more advanced things that you can do. One of the more advanced things is obviously you can change. The theme. So as you can see, if you press this themes button up here, drag that up. Oh god. Okay, let's drag that's my old man voice as you probably saw earlier. So as you can see, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the new 5.0 themes. They're all amazing, by the way. So this is one. It might be for maybe if you have like a, a restaurant website or like a cooking website and you want to put recipes on this, it's actually quite nice for that. You got this one, you got, I use this one a lot. So you got all these really cool, um, all these really cool themes, and I, you actually can download more themes from the internet. You can get um, third party themes. Some of them cost money though, so be warned. Um, as you guys can see, that's actually quite a powerful feature because you can make your site look really awesome really easily. And they have some really awesome stuff in there. Let's go into this setup thing, and as you can see, you can change the name. So you can say, like, instead of my website, you can say my awesome website. And yeah, you got a lot of different things. You can change, like, the templates and stuff. Let me go ahead and show you guys the page info for this blog thing. So as you can see, you can actually enable comments. You can have like a tag cloud, so you can have like display the tag cloud, display all this stuff. You can have an RSS feed right here, which is actually pretty cool. And you know, this is actually really easy to set up. So, you know, I don't know about you guys, but this is actually a very good alternative to iWeb. If you're looking to run a blog, if you're looking to make like make like a nice little website, and you can manage it super quick. So as you can see you got our published thing we can save this we can call this like awesome website darn it darn it number one yeah I'm just that okay so 
here you go and then you can publish it and let me see should I publish it yes I should okay so I'll be right back when I have this published and yeah I'm not publishing it because that would be too hard because I already have something published on there so yeah I will show you guys though my other site over here so let's go back over here this is my website it's what I use this for I have like a nice technology blog um little tag cloud right here it's really really nice and now let's go ahead and take a look at this in the web browser so let me open this up a little bit or, and it's kirp dot bro dot cm I'm using bro hosters free web hosting and as you can see it's actually a very very nice thing and we got our comments which I set that up with discuss and yeah it's a really it's a really nice way to organize a website to quickly program a website to write it out it's actually I mean this may be one of the easiest and best web um, web pieces of web software out there so yeah guys thanks for watching I am going to have a giveaway coming up really soon so stay tuned for that maybe subscribe just saying the earlier subscribers are a lot more um, a lot more eligible for that so yeah thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace